So if you be the granddaughter of the Beastmaster Tribe's chieftain, then why are you so hell-bent on chasing poor Obi here? The rules of the Infernal Seas dictate that smaller tribes must pay tribute in materials and labor. But this layabout ran off. I had no choice but to chase him down. We've suffered too many natural disasters. There's nothing left to offer as tribute. It's not just us. Every small tribe in these forsaken seas despises you. Well, I knew there'd be a fire burning in this one. Hmm. Rules are rules, but I understand. Your tributes wouldn't amount to much anyway. Let's forget about the whole thing. I knew it. You high and mighty folk don't care if we live or die. Wait, what did you say? Forget about it? Yes, these things bore me. Let's leave it at that. By the way, all the rest of the UMC are with my grandfather. Why are you here by yourself, old man? Could it be you're more like me? Don't tell me. I don't need to know. I'm going hunting with Mimi. Oh, that girl. Her tongue runs faster than her panther. I couldn't get a word in. Aye, chasing her would be just a ruse. She'd be like our Betty in a way. Running away from home, looking for adventure. Don't drag me into this. By the way, she mentioned the UMC's been colluding with the Beastmaster Troll. Indeed. Mad Dog also said the UMC has been providing weapons to the smaller tribes to resist the Beastmaster tribe. Ah, oh, sneaky bastards! Not a bad scheme to sow discord. The ancients ought to be lurking in the shadows too. These waters be getting murkier and murkier. What strange things did you see on your latest seat? My happiness comes from helping you. My happiness comes from helping you. Dirty tricks. Aha! You be no match for Mad Dog. Sure, you'd be wanting to tag along with us, Wildling. Ain't your Beastmaster tribe and the UMC allies? I'll get back to the tribe quicker if I come with you. Will I not? Besides, you're just the same as the UMC anyway. I got something in common with the UMC. 
Pray tell. Is it not obvious? Neither of you seem like good people. We be lucky. You got that pen for protecting you. Obi, me boy, is this where you said the angry Rhino tribe lives? Correct. The wrathful Rhino tribe has always been on good terms with mine. They should let us rest here. Pirates! And the traitor, Griffin! Quickly! We're under attack! Ain't it supposed to be tribal territory? Why the bloody hell are the UMC forces stationed there? Let's take them down first, then you can ask your questions. You're saying the Rhino tribe has gone to, to subjugate other tribes? Yes. Mimi helped me interrogate that fool. Mimi can be very persuasive. Impossible! The Rhino tribe are an oppressed tribe like us. They couldn't possibly turn on us like that. Err! You look like you've lived through a fair few battles. But you might not have experienced this. The longer a group be bullied, the more bloodthirsty they can be after a taste of true power. War. You be a political philosopher now. Was it you who gave the weapons to him? It matters not. I must see it for myself to believe it. And if they truly have, then I must stop them. Then we shall sail to... Grab the good stuff early. Otherwise... They're friends. They're prices. They're friends. Good things bigger than warships. You know, I can hear what you're thinking in your heart. One man. Ah, oh, looking at these marks. Maybe that raffle rhino lot. Cease, what are you doing? Obi, fortune favors the bold, eh? And the mighty Sir Mad Dog be here too. Thanks to the weapons you provide, none shall trample over us again. And that be be none of my doing. Twas all your own endeavor. Mind you, Mott. What's in your hands clean of it? No more. I can no longer consider you friends. Come now, Obi. Be not ungrateful. Join us, and we can integrate your tribe into the Wrathful Rhinos. Otherwise, what? I can't take this anymore. Are we fighting or not? I'll fight. A battle without meaning is... Butchery. This is a battle with great purpose. <laughs> Oh, 
to think you would join forces with the Beastmaster tribe. Coward and traitor! No wrong has been done. I have justice in my heart. Good grief. What happened to this place? It's completely destroyed. It seems the oppressed have become the oppressors. My grandfather once said he held the other tribes back for fear of spreading such bitter destruction. Aye. I've seen and heard enough. You might be right. But if you grandpa were so damn heavy-handed, it did never come to this. Not sure if you'd be aware, but the UMC's been seen with a bunch of rogue freaks headed to this last Beastmaster. The Governor of the Iron Mighty, eh? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Set a course for... There's a great many UMC patrols in these waters. <sighs> Seems the UMC and the Ancient Order don't take too kindly to interlope. All good for us. Or sit me full of those who like a good party to crash. Father, I'm back. Are you okay? I heard the UMC was... Impudent child. Sneaking away. Dallying with unknown outsiders. 
Someone has clearly forgotten the teachings of their ancestral spirits. Oi, Gwemps! Who are you calling unknown? Oi, but it's true these two are known to us. It's the pirate, Henry Hell, and the former UMC Commodore, Gordon. If the chieftain were to capture them, the governor would be sure to reward him most ha- So be it. You boot wildling! Go have a parlay with your grandfather. I'll deal with this bunch of uniforms. I don't understand. Grandfather used to be so kind towards me. I we can't take on the UMC, Ancient Order, and the Beastmaster tribe all at once. What do you mean? Things be fine. Never had much of a plan to begin with. Meaning what exactly? You're hatching a new scheme. Our purpose here was never about upholding justice. The secret treasure of the Beastmaster tribe be what we- Hee hee! Right here. With the UMC and the Beastmasters busy here, the treasure be unguarded. It's notable the ancient order isn't here. Most likely because they seek the same thing as us. Then, at least the pirates be in agreement. Obey, Wildling, if you don't- Justice is yet to be defined. If I leave now, I'll never learn the true purpose of my fist. Grandfather's beast companion is a lion. It's strange it isn't by his side, like my Mimi is with me. I've never seen the treasure you speak of, so I care not about your plans, but I won't let them harm my kin. Ah, the soul then. We sail to the heart of the totem sanctuary and pull off this ice together. Early, no matter the their friends, their prices. <laughs>